Hey, Garrett Gators, it's Coach Rodriguez again. So we are going to go over the rules and expectations um, when you guys come back to in-person uh, learning. So typically we do these when you guys arrive in the gym, but we're going to do this virtually. So let me go ahead and present my um, PowerPoint presentation with you guys. So we will get started. All right. Okay, so Garrett Elementary, our rules and expectations, okay? I'm gonna be the only coach this year. Um, those of you that have been here in the past, Coach uh, Hobbs was here, but she has gotten another PE job, so we're super happy for her, so it'll just be me. All right, what are the things that we're gonna learn this year? Okay, so a few of the things, we're gonna learn about nutrition. We typically talk about that, what are good things to eat, how much water, why is it good for you, what are some not good choices, so we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna learn our bones and muscles. We started last year learning all our bones, most of them, we almost got finished, um, but unfortunately, uh, the coronavirus came, so we had to stop. But we're going to review all of those bones. And for those of you in first grade, you're going to get to learn them all. And we're also going to get to learn our, bone, our muscles this year. So that'll be something new for you guys. We're going to learn how to play together as a team and how to have good sportsmanship. Sportsmanship means basically, guys, that you guys are going to learn to encourage each other, to treat each other with respect, um, and motivate each other to do better when we're playing games, okay? Um, social skills, learning how to communicate and talk with each other and using our, uh, our words instead of using our legs and our arms and, and hitting each other. So we're going to learn some social skills. Exercising, of course, that's what we're here for, right? We're here to work our hearts and get our, our bodies warmed up and get them all loosened up. So we're going to learn to exercise. We're going to get to learn some group um, sports and also some individual sports. Um, we're going to learn about our heart. So come uh, usually in February, we start talking about our heart. So we're going to learn more about our heart. Um, hopefully we'll get to fitness gram testing. So that's only for third through fifth grade. We didn't get to do it last year, but that's hopefully our goal is that we will be able to do that this year. And then our running club. So typically we always run every um, every time you come to gym, we run the first 10 minutes of class. So that is the goal this year. We're going to continue that. So that's what we'll be going to. All right. Our classroom expectations. All right. Students need to make sure that they're sitting crisscross applesauce with their hands on their lap listening years on and your eyes should be looking at coach Rodriguez. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys a picture of a little girl and a picture of a little boy. Now I have these two pictures in the gym. So that way, if you forget, you can always look up at it and you can follow the instructions. Okay. If you have a question, guys, the biggest thing that I need you to do is make sure that you're raising your hand. You raise your hand. Coach Rodriguez knows that you are ready to talk and I will ask, uh, I will pick, I will call on you. So that way you can, I can answer your question. Make sure that you're following directions and that you are listening to Coach Rodriguez. Again, remember I told you guys that we probably won't, that, well, not probably, we're not going to have water fountains to be able to use in the school. So you're going to have to bring some water to gym this year. So that's going to be something different, okay? Um, also, no chewing gum or bringing food in the gym. I uh, had a lot of problem with students chewing gum last year. You guys can choke on it while you're playing, and then it could fall on the ground, and then we have a sticky situation in the gym. So no chewing gum. And food, the same thing, guys. It's just not safe to have food in the gym, okay? And one of the other things is no pushing, no hitting, no cursing, or yelling at our friends, okay? We're going to be respectful with one another, and we're going to treat each other the way that we want to be treated, okay? And as you can see, I have a little bit moji with myself there drinking some water because you got to make sure that you're drinking. All right, rules and procedures, okay? There's three simple rules for gym. One of them is to be responsible, okay? You have to be responsible, and one of those things is going to be about safety and giving me all your effort. I always tell the kids when they come in, we're not always going to play every single activity that you want to play, but I promise you that eventually we will play that game. So I need you to give me 100% in everything that we do, even if you don't like it, okay? So if we're playing kickball and you're like, oh, I hate playing kickball, you just come in with a good attitude, ready to participate, and you're going to have fun, okay? So make sure that you're responsible and that you're being safe. So make sure that you follow safety rules. And we're going to go over that in a little bit. Be respectful, okay? So you need to be respectful to yourself. You need to be respectful to your friends. And you, of course, please be respectful to Coach Rodriguez, okay? I will never treat you guys disrespectfully, and I expect the same from you guys. So please make sure that we're respecting everybody. And our third rule 
is to be ready. You got to make sure that you're ready. That means that you're sitting in your spot, crisscross applesauce, listening ears are on, you're following directions, you're doing what Coach Rodriguez is asking. The more that you listen and the more that you're ready, the quicker that we're going to get out to do our run and the quicker that we're going to come inside and play our activity. Okay. So when you guys are not ready and you're not listening, we have to continuously go over the rules and the procedures of, of, of gym. And that takes away from playing your activity. Okay. So three rules, be responsible, be respectful and be ready. All right. And we're going to work as a team. Consequences. So what happens when we make bad choices? Guys, that happens to all of us. So please do not get offended. Sometimes even adults make bad choices. Okay. So the first time that you make one a mistake, okay, Coach Rodriguez is going to give you a verbal warning. So I'm going to talk to you about your behavior and we're going to talk about you not performing that again. Okay. So then that way we're going to talk about it. Okay. Strike two. That means that mm, I already talked to you, but you're doing the same thing again. So you're going to go to the refocus zone. That is just an area for you to calm down. You're not in trouble, guys, so please don't take it as a punishment. It's just an area. We sometimes call it like a timeout. It's just an area for you guys to go have a seat. You're going to fill out a piece of paper, tell me what you did wrong, what you're going to do to fix it. And when you're finished, you're going to give me your little piece of paper. I'm going to reread it. And then you're going to come back and participate in class. Okay. So it's just a little time out to let you cool off and let you think about what you've been doing and how to fix your problems. All right. Strike number three. I'm going to have to call your mom or your dad or your guardian or your grandma or your grandpa. Okay. So I'm going to call somebody at home. Okay. And you don't want coach Rodriguez to do that. And I know your mom and dad doesn't want to hear any bad stuff. So please let's make the best best choices so that way we don't have to get any parent phone calls. And then the last one, this is probably the least, my least favorite, and that's an office referral. If you get in a fight in my gym, that is an automatic office referral. I can't give you a verbal warning or a refocus zone or call you mom. You're going to go to the office. So please make sure that we keep our hands to ourselves. We are not fighting. If somebody is, if somebody is being rude to you or being disrespectful, you come tell Coach Rodriguez and let me take care of it. I do not want you guys to have to go to the office, okay? So... Those are some of the situations of what can happen, all right? All right, classroom safety. So the biggest thing, guys, is we have to wear the right shoes. Um, a lot of times I have a lot of my girls that wear sandals and they wear their little dress shoes, okay? They wear a pretty dress, but they don't have safe shoes. Please, please, please make sure that you have an extra pair of tennis shoes in your backpack with a pair of socks. That way, if you do dress up that day and you forgot that it was PE day, you are prepared, okay? So please always have an extra pair of tennis shoes in your backpack. Now, if you know that you're not going to remember to keep those shoes in your backpack, then just do not dress up for school unless it's picture day. On picture day, Coach Rodriguez will not have you participate. We will be walking around or doing something so that way you don't get yourself dirty and we don't mess up our shoes, okay? And then, of course, the other thing, I did have somebody wear slippers last year, no slippers. Um, I haven't had wheelies and no Crocs, but those are other, also other ideas of shoes that we cannot wear. All right. Another thing is for safety is please, if there's equipment set up in the gym, if we have stuff, please do not pick it up. Leave it on the ground. Don't kick it. Don't throw it. And the biggest thing, guys, I have so, so many issues with is I have cones. Do not put your mouth on them. OK, that is a big thing, especially with COVID right now. So don't touch them. Don't put your mouth on them because that's how we spread germs. OK, so just stay away from those. And please don't destroy my equipment. Don't get my balls or chunk them up on the walls and try to destroy them. We got to keep using them. Okay, guys. So please be careful. The other thing is no running or horse playing in the gym. So make sure when you come in, there's going to be an activity for you to do. When you're asked to be sitting down, you need to be sitting down. There's no horse playing and no running. And then also girls, if you're going to wear a dress, please make sure that you're wearing some shorts underneath. Okay. Cause we do some stretching sometimes we'll do some um, activities that were on the ground, sit ups and um, mountain climbers. And we just want to make sure that everybody is dressed appropriately. Okay. And here's a picture of myself. I got really hurt because I was not following classroom safety. So please make sure that we are following our safety rules, okay? All right, so if we do have a situation in the gym, which we do, there's a lot of times where students have conflicts with each other, we have an area called the conflict corner, okay? This is an area where students are gonna come together to resolve their issues and to help each other calm down, okay? The benefits of teaching the skills to show you guys how to resolve conflicts through proper communication. So there is a poster out there and this is what it looks like. So the first thing it tells you to do is you need to have your hands out 
and your palms need to be facing up. So when you have a conflict with somebody, you're going to say, we need to go to the conflict corner. You're going to go there and you guys are going to have your hands out. The second thing is you're going to explain the problem. What is going on? Why are you guys mad at each other? You have to listen to each other, okay? So one person talks, then the other person talks, okay? And then you got to brainstorm a solution. How are we going to solve this problem? How can we get done with this situation so we can go back and play in gym? Because I want to play kickball or I want to play volleyball, okay? Now, we used to shake our hands, and I'm going to show you in the video. Um, we don't shake hands anymore, unfortunately, so we're going to kick our little feet, okay, to each other. And then you're going to give yourself a compliment, okay? Give your partner a compliment. So here is a, a situation where we had Mr. Tuttle and Mr. Thornton having a confrontation during a basketball game. So let's watch that. Oh, let's go back. Sorry, guys, it didn't show it. Let's try again. And it doesn't want to go back, so let's go this way. All right, here we go. Class, I brought Mr. Tuttle and Mr. Thorne to the conflict corner because they were having issues during their basketball game today. So they're going to demonstrate how we resolve a problem. I'm not going to pass you the ball. How come you never pass me the ball? Because you always shoot it. I'm just as good. But you don't pass it back to I me. make the shot. I'm good, too. I let nobody know because you don't deal with me shoot. Because I'm making the balls in the basket all the time. I'll pass you the ball. You pass it back. And, and, and then, then sometimes I shoot and sometimes you shoot. So you're saying if I pass the ball instead of shooting it every time, then you'll pass it more? I will pass it more. Yes. We share. We need to share. You shoot, I shoot, you yes. pass, I pass. Yes. Well, that makes sense. That's, yes. that's much yes. better. We're teammates. We're teammates. You know what? I really like your mans. I like your pants. Hey, teammates, we match. Hey, 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 uh, no. no. So as you can see, they didn't shake hands. They talked, they listened to each other, they brainstormed a solution, and they gave each other a compliment. So very good job, Mr. Tuttle and Mr. Thornton. Okay, let's go to the next slide. All right, attention getters. So this is a way that I'm going to get your attention in gym, okay? So if you hear two whistleblows, my son's going to demonstrate, you're going to say, Gators. If you hear Coach Rodriguez say, hey, team, you're going to say, hey, coach. And when I say one, two, three, you're going to put your hands on your knees. And then when we line up, you're going to say soldiers. And we've been doing that for a very long time, Gator. So let's go ahead and watch a video of my son demonstrating this for you guys. All right, Gators, we're going to practice our attention getters for gym this year. So my son's going to practice. He's going to be running around. And I'm going to blow the whistle two times. Beep, beep. Gators. He's going to stop, say Gators, and pay attention. All right, we're going to try a different one. Running around. Hey, team. Hey, coach. Okay, the third one. One, two, three. Hey, Monty. Okay, he's going to stop, put his hands on his knees. Now it's going to be dismissal time, so he's going to come right over here. Going to line up. One foot on the black, one foot on the brown. Okay, he's going to hear the word soldiers. Soldiers. He's going to face forward. He's going to be at a level zero. All right, guys. So I want to go ahead and practice with you guys. So I'm going to blow my whistle two times. I'm going to pretend because it'll be extremely loud. And you're going to say gators as loud as you can. All right. Here we go. Beep, beep. Great job. Okay. So now we're going to do the other one. When I say, hey, team, you are going to say, hey, coach. Hey, team. Great job, guys. You guys are doing so well. All right. Let's do the last. Well, we've got two more. So when I say one, two, three, you're going to say hands on knees. Ready? One, two, three. Awesome. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are fast learners. All right. Now we're going to line up because it's time for you to go back to class. So again, when I say soldiers, you're going to say soldiers. All right. Ready? Soldiers. Nice job, Gators. All right. I can't wait to see you guys do this when you guys come to gym. All right. Change your mindset. 
All right, so this is an area that we struggle with sometimes, okay? So a lot of times my students, maybe they're not very good at basketball or very good at volleyball, and they get so down on themselves, and they say, I can't do this. So here's a little picture of a little girl. She says, I suck, and that's not good, okay? You got to change your mindset, okay? So instead of saying, I'm not good at this, I made a mistake, I'm already, uh, I'm already good at this, I want you to change your mindset and say, I got this, okay? So you're going to be, instead, you're going to change it to, I need to train my brain and keep practicing. I can learn something new from this or say, you know what? I'm just not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying. So that's the biggest thing in gym. There's not, you're not going to be good at everything that you do, but you have to come in here with the mindset that you're going to do your very best. And I promise your very best is going to be great, okay? And I think that's all I have. So thank you so much again for joining me. Um, we will get to see each other very soon. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And do not forget, guys, to go on to complete your Google um, exit ticket so that way you can get credit for coming to Jen. Y'all have a great week. We'll talk to you later, guys. Have a great day.